In this video, we're gonna be looking at some of the things that I sold this week on eBay. Let's get into it. Okay, so I'm not gonna go through everything that I sold, because I sold over 35 items, and a lot of it was on auction, and I didn't get much for it, it's just a backlog of stock I wanted to get rid of. As you can see, it's getting a bit quiet on the shelves. Uh, sourcing has been really tough at the moment. Um, car boots have been rained off a lot. And not only that, I've been putting a bathroom in as well, plus working at Morrison's, so I'm finding it really hard to do eBay, the bathroom, work at Morrison's, plus YouTube. So it's been, it's been pretty tough, but we have had a lot of good sales as well, um, but I've not been as active as I would like to be. I have started to look at auctions myself, uh, private auctions, not eBay auctions, and I'm hoping to win a few lots there. I'll let you know how I get on with that. And uh, yeah, I'm bidding for some pretty awesome stuff, some bulk stuff, which would be good. So first up, I'm not sure if I mentioned it in my last video, but I sold this Panasonic vinyl player. I got £65 for that, which I was really happy with. And the guy gave me some really good feedback as well. I think I went through a lot of these other ones. Um, do, 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 do. So I'm just trying, to, there's so many here, I'm just trying to pick a few decent ones out that I sold. So yeah, the Paragon uh, board game, I don't know if I mentioned that in my pickup video, I probably did. It was made of wood, so I sold that. That went for £10, uh, I took an offer, plus £4.10 shipping. Uh, next we have the Sony PlayStation 1 console. Now, I sold this for £32.99. I have some really great feedback off the guy. I checked out the guy's profile as well. <laughs> He's also a reseller, and then I thought, why would a reseller be wanting to buy it? And I also shared it on the Discord group. I went too low. The games alone sell for 20 quid a piece. So although it was a free pickup, and I'm happy with this 32 quid for nothing, um, I could have got maybe double that. So that was a bit of a flop and a success. Um, I sold the, do you remember the video I made on how to, how to list on eBay and I used the total action football game as an example? Well that went out the door and I sold that for £15.99. Sold a few more of them Lynx bundles, uh, this one in particular went for £9.89 plus £3.99 shipping. I paid £3.50 or £4.00. Uh, for that, that was the last one actually, I think, that sold. Next was this Panasonic player. Now, um, this it was a video cassette recorder, VHS. It was, uh, what did I pay for it? I paid four pounds for it, and it was in my pickup video, which I will leave in the description below and leave at the end of this video. But I picked this up for four pounds, and that sold for 80 pounds and 99 pence, plus 15 pounds shipping and it only cost me 750 to ship actually it was a bit less than what i thought it'd be the guy gave me some really good feedback on this but it took a while to actually hit that sale because he was asking a lot of questions which was fine and i was answering them and i give him uh, i said look you know if you have any issues with it there's a 30 day uh, free return policy and he said well i don't want to pay the postage i said if you're not happy i will pay the postage don't worry about it Anyway, he purchased it, he's really happy, it does what he wants, um, it does what he thought it would do, and he left me some great feedback. So sometimes it's worth just developing great communication with the people that are buying your products. If, you, if someone asks you a question, then take the time to answer it, and you know, you never know, you might get that sell. Next was this microphone. I was gonna keep this microphone for the YouTube videos when I start doing lives, but I'm, I'm, I'm gonna wait till I sort of get to five or 600 subscribers. And it's took me nearly nine months to get 320 subscribers. So I'm not in any uh, great rush to start doing lives unless you guys want me to start doing lives. But this one sold for 10.99. I paid three pounds for that. And the guy also left some good feedback, which was great. Next, we have the uh, Nintendo Wii Fit Board. Uh, balance board plus five games and these games were not worth much um, the Wii Fit game and the Wii Fit Plus was obviously in with it but the other three games uh, were not worth much but it helped bulk it up and create a sell and that sold for £30 now I bought this as part of a Wii bundle which I shared in my last video I think I paid £35 for the whole bundle and this uh, sold for 30 so I only need to make £5 back on that Next is the Wii Bundle. Yes, the Wii Bundle that I picked up for £35 with that board and that sold for £75. Now, 
and I'm really happy with that cell. But I did throw in an extra remote and an extra knuckle with that, which I had to take off the shop floor, which I had on for £22. But to be honest, I paid 35 quid for the lot, so 75 quid for that, plus the 30 quid for the, uh, the Wii board, I made a good profit margin on that. Um, next we have this Tribe DVD, I know I wasn't going to go back into media, and I'm not, not DVDs anyway, but this one in particular was a good find, it was part of the DVD haul I had, I paid like a quid for it or something, anyway it went for £16.95 with free shipping, so I'm really happy with that sell. I'm here today because I also sold a dress, that I've, this was part of a clothes haul that I had when I first started reselling on eBay about eight months ago so I'm really happy that that's gone and that went for seven pounds and fifty pence next up we have some VHS tapes uh, this is a passion for angling VHS tape uh, this has been hanging around for a few months now um, I've still got a load of VHS tapes to go through but this one went for 80 uh, 19 pounds and 80 pence plus four pounds ten shipping why not check out some of these videos Thank <laughs> you. 